Testing, testing, one, two, three, 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 three. Ooh, ha, ha, ooh, ha, ha. This freezer is really hot and it's making me sweat. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. My name is Magdalena, if you didn't already know that. And if you did know that and you're not subscribed, why aren't you subscribed? We are almost at 400 subs, y'all. I'm so excited. Um, so, welcome. If you didn't already know by the title, I'm gonna be reacting to some dog grooming TikToks. I wanted to do this type of video, this type of style of video, another sit down video, because I felt like in the other videos like my grooming videos my educational ones i am not really talking to you guys i'm not showing you much of my personality because i'm focused on my work which is how i am at work when the shop is like up and running usually when i'm in here filming aside from a couple of my videos i'm usually here on my days off so when i'm really working and you know i gotta keep going and you know keep up with the time frames and everything like that i'm I'm so focused on my work and that's just kind of normal for me so it's hard for me to do like two things at once talk to the camera and do what I'm doing and have like and have my message come across clear that's why I do a lot of voiceovers so I wanted to do this video today to kind of show you guys myself I guess I just Oh, that's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to bring more of my personality to the channel because I felt like it was getting kind of dry. Um, it is educational and I feel like I do say and give information that seem to be very helpful for a lot of you. Thank you for supporting and giving me your feedback. So I just wanted to give you guys myself because I felt like I wasn't really talking to the camera and I was like, damn, I was like, I know I'm a lot more personable than how I come off on camera when I'm grooming. Anyways, you guys get the point. So this video would have come out sooner, but I was sick. So thanks for waiting. Anyway, if you didn't already know by the title, I'm going to be reacting to some dog grooming TikToks. So I'm not going to lie. I am on TikTok a lot, unfortunately, fortunately. I don't know, I like it. It's a good pastime, and my attention span has not been great lately, so. So, I am on TikTok a lot at home when I'm on the couch, kind of like when I'm watching TV and like on my phone, and then I have to rewind the episode because I'm like, oh, I wasn't paying attention, or when I'm kind of sitting down waiting for my dinner to come through Grubhub because I'm lazy and I don't cook after a long day of work. If you are a dog groomer, or anyone in the service industry and you do not cook for the life of you because you've been providing for other people and other animals or beings in your life holla how you doing because that's me right here i'm on my feet all day i do not cook i'm going on a tangent anyway i'm on tiktok a lot a lot a lot like a lot a lot like sometimes first thing in the morning a lot a lot so i was like, let's just do a TikTok dog grooming reacting video. I actually have only ran into like a handful of dog grooming TikToks because I don't really go out of my way to look for stuff like that. Like I'll look up dog grooming videos on YouTube, which is cool, like Mary Beth is cool, and a couple others I can't really name off the top of my head, unfortunately. But Man's Best Friend, he's one I've been watching as well. Let's get into it. So these are gonna be blind reactions. I have not seen any of what I'm about to look up. I'm gonna screen record so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And it's gonna be fun. This is gonna be a really different video. I'm very excited for this, but kind of nervous because I don't know what dog groomers are doing on TikTok. I have seen one lady and I don't know her name either, but I know her voice. It's very, she has a very distinct voice or a distinct way of talking in her TikTok videos. But if I do come across one of those, I will point her out. So let me get my screen recording done or up and going. Okay. Okay, so and then obviously I'll put every everything I'm watching up there. So you guys can see too. So here we are. Alright. Dog grooming. Okay, I don't know where to start. I'm just gonna do this like first couple here. I would think we'll do like ten videos. Cute. Oh, oh. Yep, I have definitely <laughs> I'm just gonna, I know it just started. This is definitely something a lot of pet parents do. 
and it's fine it's totally fine it's just most of the time we have to explain i can tell this dog is matted we have to explain to the pet parent that it's either yes the same dog but the type i mean the same breed is that the type of hair is very different so usually they'll bring us a picture of a puppy and puppy coat is very different than adult coat puppy coat is like easy peasy like you you have to brush but like not really and then adult coat depending on the dog and the texture of the coat it's a lot more difficult to work with so it the texture is different and won't come out the same but i think the case here is that the dog is matted that dog is so matted okay okay, okay. I'm surprised she washed him first. Yay. What a good babe. See, so if a dog is really like stupid matted like this, I would personally, most of the time, a lot of groomers, she's doing it, she's doing what she wants. So she could do what she wants, that's fine. But me personally, I would shave down the dog first to save myself some time with drying because it's all just gonna come down short anyway. It's just gonna get shaved. I don't know if this is just how she prefers to do it. I know that clean hair is a lot easier on your tools and your blades, so maybe that's why she's doing it. Maybe she just thinks it's really satisfying. I don't know her life. I don't know how busy she is, but I would definitely have shaved this dog down first before the bath. Ugh. Cutie! Aww, not like the picture, but he's still really cute. <laughs> little, little underrated picture. <laughs> yeah, cute. With a little bandana. Aww, okay. Good job, buddy. Cute. Like it, of course. Seven million. Okay, okay. Um, Catherera. 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 Good job. Okay, so this is a different person. I'm a slow reader, so just give me a second. Oh no, mad it all over because pandemic. Yeah. Oh my God, we had to shave down so many of our animals when we came back from the shutdown. It was sad. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all. That makes me so angry. If you are gonna get a top knot for your Shizu or Yorkie, whatever, Tibetan Terrier, if you put a top knot in that, sorry, I'm making it on the table. If you put a top knot in it like that, like a hair tie, take it out like at the end of the day. I'm sorry, that irks me so bad. Like take it out like after a day or two because that hurts. Like imagine your hair being in a ponytail for like hour, for like days and days, not hours, but days and days. Oh God, you know, you guys know, when your hair is in a ponytail for a really tight ponytail for so long, you take it out, it's like that, it like hurts and it's like itchy. Oh my God. I swear people have like no empathy. It makes me, I'm sorry, it makes me angry. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Little Princess Leia buns. Oh my God, so cute. I, I'm a sucker for really short faces and like shaved ears and stuff like that. I know this dog's ears aren't shaved, but this is so cute. That's a good little haircut. Good job. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is the same person from the first video. Yeah. Golden Retriever, 10 out of 10, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I think to really critique her, or like, I don't really have much thoughts, but she did a great job. The I like the, what she did with the top of the head, because like a lot of Goldens get like this weird stuff coming up over here. Oh, good job, Charlie. Good job, Charlie. Okay. Oh, dear God. 
dogs are re- these dogs are like amazing they're like really smart and great and whatever just like huskies malamutes bernese mountain dogs um what is it great pyrenees pyrenees so much hair and people just don't know how to take care of it and it's it's really frustrating just saw a comment on here and I'm not happy about it okay so I'm gonna come back to that comment so I don't know about that blow drying thing she was doing it was like just taking the dirt off while the dog was like already dry to get the okay I'm trying again I don't know about that part when she was blow drying the dirt off the dog I've never done that before and I don't wish to do that because of my lungs and the dog's lungs because then that just makes the dirt go everywhere in your house or in your facility, which isn't really great. Um, as far as a four hour bath time, I would not not say that's incorrect. It looks like she was doing it at home, I think. Yeah, so she's definitely doing this bath at home, so I can see why it takes her such a long time for a bath, four hours for a bath and a blow dry. Okay, see, she's doing this at home. It's gonna take her way longer to do it at home than in a professional salon because if we were to do it here straight through without stopping it would probably take us like an hour or two probably two hours but if you go to a salon that's up and functioning and you don't ask for like an express service meaning for them to do it straight through it's going to take a while it's going to probably take three to four hours because usually a samoyed will go in a kennel dryer or like a floor dryer while the bather or the groomer is doing other stuff while they dry so they can come back to it later, you know, multitasking. And it just annoyed me because someone was like in the comment, it really doesn't, our max bath and brush and dry professionally. Okay, I don't know if your Samoyeds are coming in on a regular basis, but most of them don't. A lot of, we have one Samoyed that comes to us and he comes every three weeks, okay? And usually people with Samoyeds don't, Come in regularly. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Your dogs need to be groomed. The undercoat needs to be removed, especially in the summertime, especially when the seasons change because the dog's coat's changing. So it's definitely going to take more than an hour because usually it takes me at least 30 minutes to brush out a Samoyed properly that doesn't have too much hair. And then you gotta do the feet and the sanitary. So I don't really know what these people are doing. Okay, anyway, moving on. Get your Samoyed groomed regularly. Thank you, bye. Oh, <laughs> I don't know who this is. Booger the Sugar, what are you doing? Um, so <laughs> oh my God, it's so cringy. This is why I don't look this stuff up. She's pulling the hair and then cutting it with the scissors as, as you can see. And it this frustrates me because it, it looks like it's the wrong type of scissors. It looks like she's using these scissors on purpose for that crunching sound. But I think what really scares me is the fact that she's pulling on the hair and then cutting the hair. Because when you pull the hair like that, like when you pull it, dog skin's pretty stretchy depending on where you're cutting. But when you pull like that, the dog's skin's also gonna stretch. And I have done this before in the past, I won't lie. It, if you pull it and then cut it, you can also cut the skin. So it's just kind of, it just irks me a little bit. And it probably looks really bad. Sorry, booger sugar. I'll still like it though. No, I don't wanna like it, I'm sorry. He doesn't even like it. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, I have seen this one. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen this one. She does a really good job for her. Okay. Baby paws grooming. Yes, get in them teethies. Guys, I the only thing with brushing your brushing the dog's teeth at the groomer is that unless you're brushing your dog's teeth at home religiously, it's a little bit pointless to ask your dog groomer to do it for you. But if you want us to do it that day for you, 
because you know dogs at the spa get its teeth brushed why not i don't have to do it so just let the dog groomer do it totally fine but usually i will ask you know are you brushing at home because you know sometimes there's no point in brushing if it's only once every couple months it's not that i don't want your money and it's not that i don't want to do it it's just you're kind of throwing your money away for something that should be done pretty frequently just like your own teeth Yes, that looked really good. No, uh, nothing else there to say. Oh, okay. I'm trying to look for something a little bit more. I've seen this one. Okay, let's do something. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That is so cute. Good for that's awesome. That is so hard. You don't understand. But nothing wrong with dyeing a dog's hair as long as you do a test spot first and your dog doesn't have an allergic reaction to the dye. Don't get it in the eyes. I've seen groomers do like around like directly around the eyes. I don't know how they do that and I wouldn't I personally wouldn't recommend doing it because it is kind of scary unless you're like really really experienced in that area. But Dying dog hair, totally fine. It'll wash off. It's semi-permanent. Some of them are permanent, but usually it'll wash out. But super cute haircut. Oh, little heart. And then that is so good. That's so hard to do, guys. But good for her. Cool. I like it. I dig it. Good job. Oh. Uh. Oh my god. That's really tough. Uh -huh. That's really hard. Bathing at home. Because I've had to do it sometimes when I watch dogs. And it is backbreaking. Let me tell you. Washing a dog over a tub like that. Because you're just hunched over the tub most of the time. Good for her. I mean, I can't really tell if the dog's mad at or anything. I don't really have any real opinions on this. Because she just did like a regular bath at home. She didn't really do, say much or show much. But... Is polar bear like the new thing? Is that like what we're calling dogs now, little polar bears? Cool. I wouldn't typically brush before the bath. That's just me personally. I used to, I used to, I used to do it, but then I realized it was like a lot of extra work that didn't really need to be done because it's a lot easier to work on clean hair. It's a lot easier to brush out clean hair. And I also used to do this thing where I would blow dry the dog's hair before the bath. One, awful for your lungs, horrible. Especially if you're one of, if you're a groomer that doesn't like wearing masks, it's awful for your lungs. Groomer's lung is a real thing. And it gets the room extremely dirty. It gets in your, it's awful, it's disgusting. And so I started working here and Gina was like, no, we don't do that here. You know? And I'm like, why? And she's like, because it's a lot of extra work. And I was like, you're right. So dog goes straight to the tub. Everything will come out with the blow dryer. Clean hair will come out with the blow dryer after the bath. And then brushing out will be 10 times easier after the bath. But again, this is just my personal opinion. This is the way I found that I like to do it. I used to do it this way and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a personal preference. And it's a lot easier on your body. Okay, sorry guys, my camera just died, so um, I don't know what I was saying before, but she's doing this dog. Oh yeah, I don't brush before the bath, but that's just my opinion. Mincy, 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 mincy. Go, 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 go. Oh. 
Oh yes, I love a good outline trim. You don't understand, I love it. I love doing outline trims, I don't know why. It's very satisfying. It just makes the dog look so neat and clean and nice. Um, usually outline trims are done on Goldens most of the time. I don't really find myself doing them on like Bernie's or Samoyeds or anything like that just because we don't get a lot of those. But I love a good outline trim. Cool. Oh, her voice scared me. It's so quiet in here. It's just me in here right now. But her voice scared the crap out of me. Good job. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, stuff like that makes, I already know how this is going to end, but it, she's going to shave down the dog. <laughs> it looks fine. She's doing a great job. Um, it's the same person from the first video. But yeah, that, stuff, that kind of stuff does make me mad. And to a point, yes, we can blame the pet parent. And at the same time, it's kind of tough because we don't know their financial situation. We don't know, you know, because of the pandemic, what's going on in their life. It is unfortunate, but most of the time, people are just neglecting their dogs. They don't care, and they look down, and they're like, oh, you probably need a haircut. It's like, do not even touch your dog. Why do you have a dog? If you're not going to take care of your dog, don't get a dog. Most of the time, it's a lot of people being ignorant. Like, especially when I, I really hate when I have people coming in here, or before in the past, they would come in, and they'd be, like, dripped down and, like, designer clothing and have like all this blingy jewelry but their dog's a hot fucking mess like horrendous like it makes me that makes me really angry or when you explain it to them the first time and they're like oh okay yeah sure. and then, like they do the same shit over and over again it's awful and like the only reason that you would i would personally stick with that is because of the dog um at least before when i used to work at um the last place that i worked at That haircut, like, you can already tell that's a really good haircut because it looks good grown out. I wonder why she brushes before the bath. Like, because this is just like a, a dog with hair, so... I don't know, maybe I would ask her, I'm like, why do you brush before the bath? Because... Usually, I wouldn't brush a dog like this before the bath at all. I wouldn't brush before the bath at all, but definitely not a dog like this. It doesn't look like it was matted. Um, I don't know. Because usually the bath and the blow dry will separate the hair for you. Because if you brush before, the, it's like brushing your hair before you take a shower. You're just going to have to brush it again afterwards. You know? Um, or maybe I don't know anything. <laughs> maybe there's something I'm missing here. Wow, cute. Aw, that's a, a nice haircut. It's all right. Um, it's really stress panting a lot, but you know, some dogs are just nervous, and that's just what it is. <laughs> Cute. Okay, yes. Aw, <laughs> I made me tear 
up a little. Aww. That's so cute because it's, it's not cute, but it's definitely, it's very true. It's very true. We get so close to our clients. Um, you know, not just the humans, but the people, uh, the humans, not just the people, but definitely the dogs, especially when they are brought in religiously, like every six to eight weeks, like they are on a regimen. Um, so when we see them that often and we build that kind of bond with them, it is so hard to see them go sometimes. I think what really gets me is when, for example, Rocky, I bawled my eyes out that night um, when he left because I was so busy that day. The last day that I had Rocky, I was insanely busy and I didn't really get to have the goodbye that I wanted because I had to get back to work because I was running so behind and his mom picked up and was like oh this is the last time and like oh uh, like I was just like I was okay at the time when she told me but then I got into bed and I laid down and I slowed down after a really long day and I started to cry because Rocky is misunderstood and he just doesn't like things done a certain way and I made those videos so that his next groomer can understand that because he and I worked so hard together and I was able to get his groom done without him being so vicious or as vicious as he could have been or the first time I did him. And we've just like really created like a system and it was really great. And I, I think the reason why I bawled my eyes out was because I fear for who may put his hands on him next as a groomer because he's already had a really hard time. I didn't know Rocky since he was a puppy. I met him a couple years ago. So I don't know what happened before he met me um, with another groomer or just in his life in general. So it was really tough to say goodbye to him. Um, obviously she's talking about a dog passing away and obviously that does make me sad and it does hurt my heart. But I think when a dog passes away, I feel more for the parent because it's their dog. You know, um, I feel that when a dog has passed like that because they're old and they were, you know, suffering, it's kind of a relief. Um, but yeah, it's still very sad. Um, oh, and my next client is here, so I will film this in a second. Okay, so I just had to check in a client, so let's just watch a couple more videos. I'm um, doing one bath on Panda. Um, before I leave for Puerto Rico, so. Hi, 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 hi. Did my headphones die? See, this is cute. I've, I have seen this on a different platform. This is um, Gabriel. He is a very well-known um, dog groomer. I think he's on a TV show. I forgot what it's called though. I think it's like somewhere in the UK. So cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So cute. I don't know how he did the eye thing. I know a lot of people were like complaining about that. Um, have you seen Panda hashtag dog before? All dyes are safe and developed for dogs. So yeah, he's definitely professional. This is not his first rodeo with hair dye. So, and the dog looks totally fine, healthy, eyes are open, as, as you can kind of see. But yeah, so cute. This is genius. I would never have thought to do this to a Pomeranian. It's genius. I almost wish I thought of it first. Oh, this guy is a stinker for his nails. I can tell already. 
It's always the small ones. Good job. <laughs> Honestly, I am totally okay with this. I usually do not recommend that pet parents do dog nails at home because sometimes they can really mess up and like really hurt the dog and quick them and then the dog is just traumatized forever or the parent will repeatedly keep doing it incorrectly at home and then the dog's like, okay, enough, I don't want to do this anymore and then they'll come to us and be like, I've been doing it at home but now I can't do it anymore because he won't let me really meaning because I've been doing it wrong all these years and he's fed up with me now that he's older. Old dogs get what they want. They definitely get what they want. But the fact that she can actually do the dog's nails at home is really great because sometimes, sometimes that is how it is. Some dogs prefer that their pet parents do it, but most of the time I wouldn't really recommend it. But she did, she looks, looks like she knows what she's doing and the dog is pretty calm. Um, I wish she did a part two of, of her actually doing the nails. But yeah, that is it for today's... Okay, and that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that was as fun for you as it was for me. Um, it was really nice watching all those dog grooming videos. There was only like a couple that I was kind of like cringe, but most of them were actually really satisfying, educational, because I feel like a lot of people, as, as much as the dog grooming industry is growing and expanding and a lot more people are learning about it, I feel like it's still something that a lot of people do not take, people as in like dog owners don't take seriously. And it's frustrating, but I'm happy that there is a, a community out there putting our work out there, people like me and people like, you know, those people on TikTok and on YouTube and making people aware that dog grooming isn't us just playing with your animals all day. We're actually taking care of your dogs. We're taking care of them. We're providing for them. We're providing for you. And I think that's really awesome. I think that's really cool that we're, we're getting a platform on here finally. And I think my next video is going to be kind of somewhere circulating around things that annoy your dog groomer. I think that might be a really good idea, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel about that because that one's going to be like a little, like a little drama in that one. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked what you saw, like and subscribe if you already did not. Leave a comment down below. Leave me some... some constructive criticism if you have any if you love dogs and want to see more dog content let a girl know let me know that you like what you see all right guys i'm heading out i gotta work on panda and then i got some other stuff to do i gotta go shopping i gotta get some stuff for puerto rico because i have no summer clothes because your girl gained weight over the panty so like comment subscribe let me know how you feel if you like this type of video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.